Hello, my name is Arthur, and in the last video we had left off getting a health bar onto our player, and I ran into some issues with the function of the life bar and and trying to limit the enemy so that the enemy couldn't shoot the player repeatedly. Um yeah, it turned out that I actually had two problems, and one of them was a little bit harder to see. So this is the first problem, and this is actually um, a video player. It's a replay of my last video. So what we'll see happen is he'll come up, he'll shoot, the fire will hit the player, and then the second time, the fire won't hit the player and the player will die. So that's what we see in the first one. Fire hits, fire doesn't hit, and he's dead. Um, it happens pretty fast, right? Then the other thing to see there is when the first fire hit, his health bar disappeared. So before he's dead, his health bar disappeared. And then later on, I do it again. He gets hit. He gets hit. He jumps up here. He's still alive. He has no health bar. And now, the fire animation will work correctly for the second hit. Now, that problem kind of confused me. It took me a while to figure out what was even going on. One of the problems is just a silly problem. It's, um, I made a mistake in my formula. This isn't how you calculate a percentage. A percentage is the number times 100 divided by so this number is this percent of this number. That's how the formula would read. So it's health times 100 divided by max health. So when we do that, the health bar will start working. So he would show a half hit and then the other half hit before he dies now. The other problem was a little more difficult to find because in one instance, um, the raycast worked properly. But in the first instance, where the fire happened and then it happened again right away, the raycast was not working properly. Now, the entire script is exactly the same. And the problem is actually with the speed that the raycast updates itself. So what I had to add in was a force raycast update. Now, I'm not exactly sure why it does that. Um, I've had difficulties with raycasts before. It has something to do with with physics process and them functioning outside of physics pro process. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure why it happens. But what was happening was um, the raycast was enabled, but it didn't actually know where it was for some reason. And it was immediately like well perhaps if I changed the order here and had this beneath it it may have worked out differently maybe um, but when it came here it didn't know that the raycast was at zero still and well, it should have, and without the update, it wouldn't recognize its its position had changed since the last time it had updated. So, yeah, I'm not, not exactly sure why that is, because I've set it to zero, right? So it should be at zero, except it doesn't know that it's at zero for some reason. So, yeah, that's... That's the best that I can explain it because I don't understand why it works that way myself. Um, 
in a previous effort where I had a lot of units uh, in an RTS style game. Um, I had to abandon the use of Raycast because they were slow and weren't doing quite what I wanted them to do. I was using them for navigating vehicles and that didn't function the way that I wanted it to either, even if I tried to force the update. Um, as soon as I had too many units, it became unviable and wouldn't work anymore. But in this instance, I think that it's a reasonable um, fix for that problem. And yeah, maybe the Raycast wasn't the best idea for for checking for the fire but for now I'm gonna stick with it because if it's working and that's what counts so we can just run it we'll see now clearly he gets hit the damage shows he gets hit a second time and dies so in the next video I'll start looking at getting um, a life bar onto the enemy unit making it so he can take two hits and then work out the bounce function so that when the player bounces on the back of an enemy um, for that function as well as when the enemy shoots him with fire the player should probably bounce back have a little involuntary bounce back and a little animation like maybe flicker red and something like that to show that he just got hit something along those lines so that'll be in the next video and until then take care